You're watching a real testing. scoop. Testing. One, two, three. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hate that. Okay. Hi there, and welcome to the real scoop. I'm Lori. I'm Hannah. And we're outside, live, on location, on Hannah's porch in Hawaii. This is our last episode for season two. Yes. We are having a baby tomorrow, and so I thought it'd be good to come outside, switch it up a bit. Yeah, it was a good idea, but there's helicopters and a, a mower and wind. Okay. I think maybe by now everybody knows how I feel about extra noises, you know, that aren't necessary. But we are on Pearl Harbor. Of course there would be lots of choppers. I read an interesting article about this man in Australia who robbed a McDonald's looking like a cross-dresser. He had a bunch of pink and heels and wore a blonde wig. Okay. And he, he was robbing them for cash and the police came in suspecting it was a bomb threat. Wow. So, it's just kind of weird. Well, I mean, maybe that was part of his disguise. Could be. Most people just wear a black mask. Yeah, but everybody knows if you have a black mask, you're probably gonna do something bad. But if you have a wig, a blonde wig, eh, you know, I would wear a blonde wig. Yeah. Would you ever rob a place wearing high heels, though? No. No. Was he in high heels? Yes, he was in heels. Well, you know, that on the robber's part was dumb because he wouldn't be able to get away very fast. Did he get away? They have not found him. So he got away with it? He got away. And he threw away his wig as he was running away. Oh, do you know how much those are? Yeah. They're like $400 if you get a good wig. Unless it's like the cheap kind from Target for Halloween. Do you know how much money he got away with? It did not say. Then I bet it's a lie. What's a lie? That a cross-dresser they, oh, they robbed just, McDonald's. They didn't even tell have, how much he got away with. They have him on surveillance. Yeah, but how come they didn't say what he got away with? Usually, they, they say. What do you have written down here? He just demanded cash. They said he had a bomb. Mm -hmm. The police thought he has had a bomb. But I don't know where a crossdresser would get a bomb at. In Australia, too. But I just don't think he robbed that McDonald's store appropriately. Chances are people know who he is. Probably. Unless he wasn't a crossdresser and he just pretended. Mm -hmm. And that was his disguise. It's probably his disguise. You know it is going to be fall there now. Because they're on the other side of the axis. The world in Australia. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be having spring soon. <laughs> that is ridiculous. It's spring. Springs when we're tilted, we're higher. I, uh, I don't know. The other day, that Hawaii is supposed to be higher to the sun. Well, I said that the I said that the sun was really hot that day, which was a couple days and ago. And then you said because Hawaii is higher up to the sun. Because the Earth is on its axis and rotating, so I think that Hawaii is closest to the sun right now because we got sunburned really badly, and in Hawaii we don't yeah. normally. So, but it is going to be fall there in Australia, and we ran into an Australian cashier at Target, and she confirmed that. You don't ask people where they're from if they have an accent. Oh, <laughs> you did embarrass. You didn't, yes, I did embarrass. Why? Me. Because you didn't even say, "Oh, a nice accent. Where are you from?" You just say. So, are you from Australia? <laughs> well, I could have died. I didn't know that. I never brought it up, but that really embarrassed or it me. Did? It did? I thought I was being very friendly. People here in Hawaii, a lot of them aren't very friendly, so she was very friendly. I yeah, thought I was being friendly. She wasn't from Australia. Well, when she said, hello, dearie. That's not it. <laughs> she did say that. It's Rumpelstiltskin. Wow, Rumpelstiltskin. If you watch Once Upon a Time, he's like Scottish. But Scottish isn't in Australia. I have no idea where Scotland is. I think it's in Australia. I don't even know where Australia is. I, I just know Europe. it's almost fall there. Yeah. Europe? I don't think so. I think it might be close. We need to take people's offer up on getting a globe. We should. Hey, that's for our next season. We can have a globe on site at our recording table. So we can just look stuff up real fast. And that will be a part of our news desk. A globe. That's a great idea. Yeah, that is. I like that. Yeah. We'll have a globe, and we'll learn, too. It'll become an educational program for me and Hannah as well. That way we don't sound so dumb. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like all the countries and things. I just, we just don't know where they are. Hannah and I got very badly burned the other day. It was really windy, and we were really glad because we saw cloud cover coming, and I made a comment that it's a good thing that we're below the jet stream 
because the sun is really hot. And she, but we're not sure what the jet stream is. Well, it was just because no, because one cloud was moving one way. Yes. The other cloud was moving the other way. Right, which I think is a, a Hawaii phenomenon because we're above the ocean. What? Or <laughs> you know? I'm glad we're above the ocean. I would not like <laughs> yeah, to be I, below the ocean. You know, I mean, we're sea level, and the clouds are above the ocean, and the clouds are but going this way, and the other clouds are going that way. And I think that it only happens over the ocean. That's the Hawaii phenomenon I'm talking about. <laughs> I, just, yeah, I don't think that's right. But maybe. But anyway, we were laying on the beach and there was clouds in the sky. But they weren't your typical clouds. They were all all in a line and you saw this. Mm -hmm. So we thought that's what the jet stream is, mm -hmm. what it looked like. Yeah, and we did talk about it's a good thing we're underneath the jet stream because we're burning right now. And we still got we burned. Yeah, even though we were below the jet stream. Yeah. And anyway, you know how it storms when it's cloudy? Like it snows, it rains. Isn't that the jet stream? I don't know. Well, you know when they say, uh... I thought a jet stream had to do with, like, flying. Like, jet... <laughs> no, I know for what I thought. <laughs> then that like, means... Like, <laughs> hey, it's like a highway for jets. That means... Hey, hop on the jet stream. That's what I thought, because, listen... Then air traffic control towers would be controlling all the jet streams. No, because then, when you leave Hawaii, it's quicker to go back. Because you have because a tailwind. Because you hop on the jet stream. <laughs> it's not the tailwind. AEC. That's what is the tailwind. Yeah, the tailwind. What's the AEC? Australian. It's on Finding Nemo, where the turtles get into the Something water. Australian Europe current or some some current. Hmm. I don't even know why we're talking about the AEC. I don't know. Or whatever it's called. So I figured. I thought the jet stream was like an airway. It has nothing to do with aircraft. Well. The jet stream is all related to weather. Okay. And something else that's important is, you know how they say, we're gonna have a nor'easter, which I assume is from north and east? I hate There was those. not this much noise when we first came out. No, there really wasn't, it's peaceful. Okay, a nor'easter is weather from the north and the east, and that's when you get a lot of snow. A nor'easter, just say a northeastern. Or would they say when it comes from Canada? Canadian low or an Arctic low. I don't know about anyway, weather. Anyway, they're all related to clouds, which produce storms. That's the jet stream. The jet streams are so clouds. The jet stream is a cloud. I hope we're right about that. Well, I'm sure we might be off a little bit because we aren't weather women, but it is something to think about. We have an idea, and we're not doing this to be punks, but we thought it would be kind of fun to call the UFO hotline. Well, explain that. We were watching a documentary about UFOs, and it was the worst documentary ever made. And we watched It looked like a video them. game. Well, it looked like we were watching then, psychedelic stuff. Then they, I can't remember if they told us to call the UFO hotline, or if I, I looked it up and found it. There's a UFO hotline, and we want to call it. And the reason we're doing this is because the documentary didn't tell us anything. We literally stared at an hour and a half where of psychedelic sounds. There was not even footage, not even pretend footage to confirm or deny UFOs. So we're not confirming or denying that there's UFOs. We're just doing what the documentary suggested. So we are calling the hotline. Don't do this at home. All right, here's the number. Do I put a one before it? I don't think so. Oh, I'm going to put this on speaker. I'm nervous. National UFO Reporting Center, good afternoon. Hi there. Hey, I just had a couple of questions. I was watching a documentary and I was referred to... Are you calling because you believe you may have had a sighting? No, I am not calling for that reason. I am just... I just had a question and about the hotline. I watched a documentary. How often are UFO sightings? I read an article that the UK spotted two orbs. Okay, I can answer that. Wow, that, yeah, it does, and it was just a curiosity on on my part, and I read it, and like I said, I read an article that the UK spotted somebody, that somebody in, in the United Kingdom spotted two orbs. And my estimate, my personal estimate, based on 21 years of having served as director of the UF, National UFO Reporting Center, that is far more than I ever imagined. Some of the most interesting, well-documented sightings that appear to come from seemingly very qualified witnesses, please send me an email and I'll send you back 
a short list, a five-page short list of some of the best cases we've received over the last 21 years. I suppose my recommendation would be you start by turning off your television. But they're not designed to be scientific and objective. Well, the documentary that I did watch, I completely believe what you have to say because it was just nothing but a psychedelic still photo with music. So, <laughs> you know, they were pretty, pretty lame. <laughs> Thank you. It has very much. Thank you so much. Oh, that was a total loss. <laughs> Didn't know I'd be talking to the director. He said me. He told me a lot of things, but I don't remember what he said. Um, and the parts that got on speaker, he actually sounded like he knew what he was talking about. They said they get five hundred thousand a year. Each hotline gets about twenty calls a day from orbs, Ouroboriella. Is that how you say it? Lights. That's a yeah. Yeah, and I didn't get a chance to ask my questions, and my questions were if it, they were all near Roswell. I wanted to tell him it's freaking me out, and I don't believe that he couldn't hear me. I believe he could. I just think he knew that we were not serious. But he told us to go to the a website, www, I don't know, remember, I don't know <laughs> what he said. Yeah, but I don't remember anything he had to say. I felt like we got nowhere. Yeah. What are your thoughts of UFOs? I don't think they're real. And I think that guy suspected that we were couple of kids. He also advised that we don't watch what, we don't watch about these things on TV. Yeah. Then where are we going to watch them? If they're not on Netflix, then I'm not going to watch it. He doesn't want you to watch it at all. They capitalize on it. Yeah, I understand that. But then how are we going to find out about it? Go to the library? Probably. I don't go to the library unless it's to take Elena to pet the rabbit. Mm, there's a rabbit at the library? Yeah, there's this huge rabbit at the library. It's like 40 pounds. Oh my gosh. So let's move on. <laughs> Okay. I just wanted to tell you something. Hmm. Tell our viewers, as Hannah mentioned earlier, today, look at the camera, look at everybody. Mm. Today is her last day of being a pregnant human being. She's been crying. I haven't I been crying? Because she's scared tomorrow is the baby's birthday. I'm not crying. She's having I'm getting a my stomach cut open. So she looked up C-sections on YouTube. This is not a good idea. What are your thoughts right now? I don't have thought. I don't, I don't have verbal thoughts that I can express. Tell our viewers what they think that the baby's gonna weigh. Tell them what they think it's gonna weigh? Mm-hmm. What did the doctor tell you that the baby oh, is going oh. to weigh? They think it's going to be nine pounds and nine ounces. That's why they're doing it this way. Yes. I was there when they told Hannah that, and we didn't exchange a glance. We didn't go, oh. We didn't do anything. We just sat there totally shocked, had nothing to say. Rare rare and stuff like that so we went out and had a big celebratory breakfast and after this we're gonna make Valentine's have a Valentine party because today is February 11th the baby will be born tomorrow which is February 12th and I just want to give you some words of encouragement I want you to remember five things oh, okay serious okay I'll be there for you <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, does that conclude today's okay. episode? Happy birthday, little baby. You can do it. And I'll put pictures on our page. But by the time this airs, the baby's going to be six months, probably. Probably. We will see you soon <laughs> for season three. And then we'll have, we'll have three scoops on I'm our show. very proud of you. Aww. We'll see you next time. I don't know who we are, but bye. Bye. Mwah.